Good morning, folks, wherever you're at. Just doing well. I'm out for an early morning walk with Mr. Dylan. Say hi, Mr. Dylan. Just doing well. Uh, yesterday was Monday. We were in the town of Saint Etienne shopping for furniture for a new house here. And um, today, making furniture. Tomorrow, we drive to the south of France. Uh, I'm going to be staying there for three days, but yeah you are well hey i've just been thinking on my walk today about um about the life of jesus um you know if there's one thing jesus gives us is life yeah john put it this way in 1 john 5 verse 12 he said he who has a son has life he who does not have the son does not have life and the christian life isn't something we live it's something which lives in us um you know the bible talks about the promise of life in christ jesus jesus didn't say um because i die you know i give my life to you rather i put my life in you he said because i live you will live also and um i'm going to try and do this today but i encourage you to do it too just let the life of god live big in you stop trying to live the christian life and let god's life live and flow through you today that zoe life of god what did jesus say john 10 10 i have come that you might have zoe you might have life and you might have overflowing life. So let the life of God overflow us today. Um, then about you, I love watching those images, you know, when they landed on the moon or, you know, these rovers on Mars. And, um, you know, we go looking for life. And yet the thing is here on earth, there is life everywhere. Everywhere you look, there is life. And um, there's no life whatsoever on the moon or on Mars or all of these other places. And yet, uh, in a sense, we're in a spiritual desert as well. When we go around the world, there's no spiritual life. Uh, there's death because of Adam. There's death because of sin. And yet we get to bring in the life of God. We are the most alive people on earth. We have eternal life. You know, Jesus said, John 3, 16, we've all heard it so many times, but um, whosoever believes in me should not perish, but should have everlasting life. It really means, it doesn't mean so much life after you, life after death but life before death, eternal life now. And when we believe in Jesus, we get eternal life now. So enjoy. How do we do that? We'll come back tomorrow and I'll tell you. Now, how do we do that? It's really simple. We, we've got that life in us, in our spirit, but we need, to, um, we need to believe to bring it into our soul. And we even need to believe and use our faith to bring it into our body. Uh, Paul says in Romans 8, this is Romans 8, 10, the spirit is alive is quick the old english said it's alive because of righteousness but the next verse romans 8 11 says if the same spirit then that raised christ from the dead dwells in us not not touches us get a little frisson in a meeting but actually dwells in us he said he'll give zoe life to our mortal body so today by faith you can believe that the very life of god flows through every single cell in your body how cool is that come on that every um, you know, to have, to have COVID, to have a cold, to have cancer is death at work in our body and no condemnation if you got either of those three things. But, um, you know, we can believe that that very Zoe life of God, the resurrection life of God blasts and manifests in our body wherever we are. Well, Dylan wants me to go. So I'm going to go and uh, make some Ikea furniture. Yeah, fun. And, uh, Bless you guys wherever you're at today. Trust you're having a truly awesome day. It's a really cool uh, village I'm in here. Ooh, let's see this. But, um, I've got a waterfall behind it. So.